Good morning. My name is Dr. O'Kelly Murphy and today I will be performing a cranial nerve examination on you. Your cranial nerves are, as it says, the nerves in your cranium that are mostly in your brain. And they mainly just like things like hearing, smelling, your vision and your facial movements, things like that. Are the things that they control for the most part. Um, you actually have 13 cranial nerves. I should be only testing about 9 today with about seven different kinds of tests. Alright. Now the first test is for your olfactory nerve, which is your nose. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to have you close one nostril, and then I'm going to hold up something to the other nostril and have you smell it and tell me what it is. So just give me one second. Alright, I have two different things right here. And the first one I'd like for you to close your left nostril, and I'm going to hold this up to your right nostril. Right, and close your eyes to make sure you don't see it. Alright, now tell me what you smell. Right, that is nutmeg. Alright. Alright, now I'd like you to close your right nostril. And I would like you to close your eyes, and I'm going to hold this up and let you smell. What do you smell? Good. Alright. So everything's fine with your olfactory nerve. And the next one I'm going to test is your optic nerve, which as I'm sure you can guess is your eyes. Um, the only thing I'm going to test with that is your visual field. So I'm going to see how far you can see to the sides and how far you can see up. Take a step back. And I'm going to hold my hands out like this and my fingers. I'm going to move them in each direction, and I'd like for you to tell me when you can't see them anymore. Alright, can't see them? Great. And now the other one. I'm going to do is still with your eyes. It's your ocular motor nerve, and I'm going to test just how your eyes move. As you can tell from the name, ocular motor is the motor function of your eyes, so how they move. Um, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you follow my finger, and I'm going to watch how your eyes move. Right, give me one second. Alright. Now just look at my finger and follow. Give me a second, I'm actually going to observe your eyes and check out your pupil size and the shape and make sure everything's normal. Right, just hold still for me, please. Okay. Everything seems normal. Alright, and I have one more movement. I'm I movement test that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have you follow my finger and I'm gonna move it to your face and back. And just follow. Alright, and then back away. And then back to it. And then back away. Alright, great. Alright, the next one that I'm going to do is your trigeminal nerve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a sharper object and a duller object. Don't worry, it's not that sharp. I'm going to touch it to your face in different places, and I'd like for you to tell me if you're feeling the sharper one or the duller one. Give me one second. Alright, this is the instrument I'm going to use. As you can see, it's not that sharp on this end, but this one is much duller than the other end. And I'm actually going to let you feel each side so you know what each feels like. Alright, this one's the sharp end. Alright, feel that. Great. 
and now for the dull end. Oh, you can tell the difference? Good. Now I'd like for you to close your eyes, and I'm going to poke you with each different side, and I want you to tell me which side it is. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. And which side was that? Okay, good. And this side? Alright, this side right here. And finally, this. Alright, you did great. Alright, now, another thing for your trigeminal nerve is your mouth movements. So I'd like for you to open your mouth and clench your teeth for me just like this. Alright, great. Alright, now I'm going to test your facial nerve, which is similar to the trigeminal and what I just made you do. I'm just going to have you do a few more facial movements. Okay, I'd like for you to smile for me like this. Alright, and now frown. Alright, great. Now I'd like for you to puff out your cheeks like this. Alright, great. Alright, now I'm going to test your vestibular cochlear nerve. And that's, sorry, vestibular cochlear. I always pronounce it wrong. Um, that's basically just your hearing nerve. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk behind you so you can't see what I'm doing and I'm going to make a sound on either your left side or your right side and I'm going to have to ask you to tell me which side you're hearing Tell me which side you're hearing this on. Alright. And now tell me which side you're going to be hearing this on. Alright. And now tell me which side you hear this on. your accessory nerve, and that's mainly just the muscles in your neck, and this muscle right here, this one right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands on your shoulders like this, and I'm going to ask you to shrug your shoulders, and I'm going to hold my hands and try to make it so that you can't shrug your shoulders, and I'd just like you to shrug them against my hands. Alright, you ready? Alright, now shrug. Great, now relax. Okay, one more time. Well, everything seems perfect, and were you comfortable the whole time? Was everything alright? Okay, great. Alright, yeah, like I said, everything's perfect. I won't need to see you for another year. Alright, thank you. Thank you for coming in.